Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter Fear God, keep his commandments For this is the whole duty of man Amen It's been Yehuda man High levels bro, high as could be Word the rise to far right is a highland me Every morning when I wake up, spend time on my knees No sneezing necessary, the blessings received Who lesser than me? Not a soul We all got it and passed on it like common codes I got tired of blowing it like a snotty nose When will he return? Nobody knows So I plant my seed daily and water the field There's a lot of people out here ignoring the real Putting money before him wasn't part of the deal So I was being popular for a part of his meal Feed me, Ezekiel, no Elliot Amen. Heaven sent in the world full of these Hellenists Amen. These Greek lovers, these genociders, these terrorists Woo. The book's burning, give us another exodus I wanna see my people prosper you know, we have ones that say Rastafari live in the city, yeah. Kingston City, Manhattan, Manhattan yeah. New York, like I, <laughs> you know. Yeah. We live amongst our universal brothers and sisters and Rastafari is for each and every one. So it's not, a, it's not this weird thing where you have to live in the forest, no. But you have ones that live in the forest and they hold an order for the ones like I and I who can come in now and hold our meds and come to these places and remove ourselves from that type of way and still come find our brothers in the midst of the jungle as well as in the city. Yeah, exactly. So it's a brotherhood throughout the universe. Yeah, iPhones included, cameras included, yeah, cars yeah, included, yeah, planes, palaces, yes, huts, yes, rivers, yeah, yeah, ocean, yeah, 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 yeah. the whole thing. Huh? Yeah, and the thing about it to us is that Rastafari is not a cult. Yes? No. So we're not looking for more followers to say, hey, everyone has to come and be Rastafari. No, we're, we're looking at people and their hearts. We are all about love. <laughs> and so, giving ones an update here, if they haven't been brought to, uh, or at least uh, a, a critical mass of attention of a lot of the things that have been going on, and this really pertaining more so to global warming, and a lot of the neglect that has been going on in and around the world as far as the subject matter, especially um, dealing with mass media and a lot of the, the places that uh, most of uh, the majority of people get their information. But here coming from The Guardian, uh, deforestation of the Brazilian Amazon surges to record high. Now, this is an older article just to... Um, get ones uh, familiar of a lot of the things that have been going on and lead up to the great and very, uh, I guess we can say, um, extremely important events that have been taking place not only in Brazil but on the African continent as well. And it's actually showing and proving, even though in Europe it should have already been um, something that uh, is inescapable at this point as we've had such a massive heat wave that rushed over uh, Europe, uh, the entirety of Europe, for the entirety of the summer, and still uh, kind of lingering around a bit, you know, even in a time where we should be moving on into the fall or autumn season of the year. But here, just to um, kind of uh, get ones up to speed on a lot of the things that have been going on as far as the environment, uh, so on and so forth, uh, here, subtitled, Environmentalist Fear 2019 will be one of the worst years for D for station in recent memory. And again, this is an older report, just getting ones up to speed, coming from a one Jonathan Watts. This was actually reported on June 4th of 2019. So here, deforestation of the Brazilian Amazon surged last month to the highest May level since current monitoring method began, prompting concerns that President Jair Bolsonaro is giving a free pass to illegal logging farming, and mining, the world's greatest rainforest, which is a vital provider of oxygen and carbon sequestration, lost 739 square kilometers during the 31 days, equivalent to two football pitches every minute, according to data from the government's satellite monitoring agency. Although a single month is too short to confirm long-term trends, May is considered an important guide because it marks the start of the dry season, which is when most burning and other forms of forest clearance are carried out. 
Unless the government sends a clear signal it will not tolerate a further acceleration, environmentalists fear there will be an increase in the coming months that could make 2019 one of the worst years for deforestation in recent memory. Quote, the government can't deny these numbers from their own agency. The question now is what they'll do about it, unquote, said Carlos Souza of the independent monitoring group Amazon. By the end of July, we'll have a clear idea of the impact of recent moves to dismantle environmental policies. Since the far-right Bolsonaro came to power in January, he has weakened the environment ministry, loosened controls on economic exploitation of the Amazon, halted demarcation of indigenous land, and encouraged mining and farming interests to expand in the region. Since the president criticized the government's main monitoring agency as a fines industry, it has issued a fewer penalties than at any time in 11 years, and the number of inspection operations is down 70% from last year. His environment minister, Ricardo Sales, who was convicted for environmental fraud and had never visited the Amazon region before this year, has further undermined morale by failing to appoint regional chiefs and by firing veteran inspectors. Earlier this week, Fulha reported he was moving to privatize the satellite monitoring of the forest. He has also vexed donors, Norway and Germany, by proposing to weaken the voice of civil society in deciding how the $1.3 billion Amazon fund is spent. In Congress, the dominant agriculture lobby is pushing for further relaxations, including the breakup of protected areas. Bolsonaro's oldest son, Flavio, who is a senator, recently proposed a reform of the forest code that would remove the obligation of farmers in the Amazon to maintain forest cover on 50 to 80 percent of their poverty. This measure would reportedly open up an area larger than Iran for extractive, or excuse me, extractive industries. A growing wave of speculative Land claims are being registered inside reserves, which is putting more pressure on the boundaries. The spike in deforestation is depressing, but hardly surprising. You have a government in Brazil who is dismantling nearly every environmental policy put in place since 1992 and who is harassing federal environmental agents, thus empowering environmental criminals, said Carlos Rittel. The executive secretary of the Climate Observatory, an NGO formed by a coalition of environmental groups. However, we must wait and see how it will behave in June. Other factors might have contributed to the increase. The first few months of this year were cloudy and rainy, which made satellite monitoring more difficult. So some areas might have been missed by earlier sweeps. The bad weather could also have prompted loggers and farmers to delay land clearance until May. The economy, which is often a driver of deforestation during periods of high beef and soy prices, has also been in the doldrums. Though Bolsonaro has indicated that agribusiness can help to lift Brazil towards positive growth. In this regard, he is echoing and amplifying the message of his predecessors as president, Dilma Rousseff and Michel Temer both of whom presided over periods of accelerated forest clearance as they became reliant on the rural lobby and commodity exports to China and Europe. Another factor in expansion of infrastructure projects, including roads and hydroelectric plants. The Brazilian state that suffered the greatest deforestation last month was Pará, which is home to the BR-163 road through the Amazon and the Belamante Dam. So that concludes our report here from The Guardian on the Amazon. And this, of course, was coming from June of this year. And so now we move forward in the year, just a few months after here to August 25th, 2019, from the BBC out there in the UK, entitled The Amazon Fires, The Devastation Scene. From above, and this is of course uh, with a lot of video that ones could uh, research, and hopefully they'll be able to find these um, more ex uh, or at least accessible, accessible as far as all of the um, 
devastation that is going on across the Amazon, which is a very vast region there in South America in the country of Brazil. And again, you know, provides for a lot of um, uh, uh, the ecosystem and, of course, you know, um, giving so much uh, to the environment as far as uh, sustainability. So here, um, not only Brazil being affected, but many other countries there in um, South America as well, especially Bolivia, which is very close. And, you know, we're sure to see a lot more coming from this as, um, you know, many uh, climate change deniers and, you know, other um, uh, very uh, unscrupulous things that are going on in many governments here or there uh, continue to uh, rash up. But here are uh, Amazon fires uh, dated August 28th, 2019. South American countries to meet to discuss a response. South American countries will meet to discuss a coordinated response to the fires ravaging the Amazon basin next week, Brazil's President Jair Bolsonaro has announced. It comes after he refused a G7 offer of $22 million, which equates to 18 million euro, following a spat with French President Emmanuel Macron. Governors of the nine worst affected regions have urged him to reconsider. Mr. Bolsonaro has now accepted Chile's offer of four planes to fight the fires, the most in Brazil since 2010. He revealed all countries in the Amazon region, apart from Venezuela, will meet on the 6th of September to further discuss a common policy. However, speaking after meeting his Chilean counterpart, Sebastian Piñera, Mr. Bolsonaro said he was not yet prepared to accept the G7 offer. The French government called me a liar, he said, according to Reuters news agency, only after it has recanted what it said about me and the Brazilian people who do not accept this diminution. Excuse that. Excuse that on that. But this diminution of the Amazon sovereignty. Then we can talk again. Uh, moving right along, the Amazon is vital and is a vital carbon store that slows down the pace of global warming. As international concerns over the fire spread, the leaders of the seven leading industrial nations meeting in France offered $22 million to help fight the fires. President Macron, who was hosting the summit, said the funds would be made available immediately, primarily to pay for more firefighting planes. But President Bolsonaro rejected the offer, arguing that the G7 countries were treating Brazil like a colony or a no-man's land. That is not entirely clear yet. There has been a lot of back and forth on this. After ruling out accepting the aid, President Bolsonaro softened his stance a little on Tuesday, saying he would consider doing so if President Macron apologized for insulting him by calling him a liar. Words he echoed on Wednesday. And following President Bolsonaro's meeting with the governors late on Tuesday, presidential spokesman Rodrigo Barros said the Brazilian government is open to receiving financial support from organizations and countries. However, Mr. Barros stipulated that the aid would have to have the total governance of the Brazilian people. There has been no response yet from the French government or the G7 countries. The governor of Maranhão state, Flavio Dino, said he and his counterparts from other affected states had told Mr. Bolsonaro that it's not the moment to turn down money. What other aid has been pledged? Apart from the $22 million the G7 countries offered, Hollywood actor Leonardo DiCaprio also pledged $5 million to help fight the fires. Apple CEO Tim Cook also tweeted that the company would be donating to help preserve the Amazon rainforest's biodiversity, but he did not name a figure. U.S. President Donald Trump tweeted that Mr. Bolsonaro and Brazil have the full and complete support of the United States of America. Reuters news agency says it has been told by a diplomatic source in Brasilia that the Brazilian government has accepted $12.2 million from the U.K. government. The government says it has deployed 44,000 soldiers to seven states to combat the fires. Prosecutors are also investigating allegations that some of the fires were triggered by the illegal clearing of land. The Justice Ministry says that federal police officers would be sent to the fire zones to assist 
other state agencies in combating illegal deforestation, quote-unquote. Data published by Brazil's space agency suggest there are the agencies known as INPE says there have been more than 83,000 fires between the 1st of January at the start of this year, 2019, and August 27th of 2019. That is a 77% rise compared to the same period in 2018. NASA has also warned that the 2019 fires season has the highest fire count since 2012. The BBC analysis has also found that a high number of fires being recorded coincides with a sharp drop in fines being handed out for environmental violations. Jorgemar Alberto from Roraima, one of the states most affected by the fires, has seen the burning of most of the land surrounding his wooden house. It's a risky situation. We have lots of crops here and everything is burning, such as the cashew trees, he told the BBC. I even had to keep the animals inside so that they don't burn as well. Every year, it is the same. These fires are disturbing the region a lot. Environmental officials helped him extinguish the fires last week only for them to reignite, he said. His wife could not stand staying in the house with the smell of burning and the threat getting either, even or more closer, so she left. Dr. Daniel Perez, meanwhile, told Brazil's Folha de Sao Paulo newspaper that the number of children he had seen with respiratory problems since the early part of the month had doubled. This period has been very tough. The dry weather and the smoke causes many problems for children, such as pneumonia, coughing, and secretion. The pediatrician who works at Cosme Edimia Children's Hospital in the Rondonia, state capital of Porto Velo, said. But the lumberyard owner, Edson Oliveira, from southern Amazonas, said he did not believe the media coverage about the Amazon. Quote, in my opinion, the parts that are burning are the same that burn every year, he said, and told the BBC. Asked what he would like politicians to do for the Amazon, he said that he would like economic alternatives for people here to find a way we can make use of the natural wealth we have here. It's no use pointing the finger at what's wrong without bringing alternatives to the people, he said. Let, let, let me at him, let me at him, don't let me eat. Ain't we been here before, I feel a naked breeze I just went to the store and bought extra leaves Bloody murder, I need a couple accessories Necessities, I bear them all And hold court with the lion so we can share the ball You relying on sipping lean and not a raw I'm relying on daily bread that manna fall Whew. I'm about to manifest destiny Manifold, the manual is the recipe Many, many a days a number like sesame Why you grouchy big birds for a lesser fee? Incessantly incest with a lesser me Gave birth to a higher power to like the tenth degree All my chakras is balanced, you feel the energy Married the wisdom, proposed to on bended knee Gave her the ring, we broke the glass and jumped the broom I'm on a natural high, call it the honeymoon Love heals, but trust to give you some ugly wounds And hate to kill your emotions worse than the 22 Rick, Rick, Ricochet, I'm coming from every which way